Hi, here we are again, and we're reading some children's stories for a few days. So today I will be reading The Little Black Puppy by Charlotte Zalatel, illustrated by Lillian Obligato. There once was a little black puppy who belonged to a little boy. It is a little puppy. The little boy loved the little black puppy, and the little black puppy loved the little boy. But the little boy's mother didn't like the puppy, and the little boy's father didn't like the puppy. Uh-oh. Looks like the puppy is getting himself into trouble. And the little boy's brother didn't like the puppy, and the little boy's sister didn't like the puppy. Oh boy. In that whole family, only the little boy loved the little black puppy. He wanted the puppy to be there for good. That's the way it is with puppies. You, Once you have them, you want to keep them. The little puppy liked to eat. He ate books and boots and boats and balls. He ate gloves and table legs and rugs and rulers. That dog must be a goat, said the little boy, or the little boy's mother. We must give him away. But the little boy loved the puppy. He's little, said the little boy. He's just a puppy. He will grow up. Then he won't eat everything, for he isn't a goat at all. It's true. He's not a goat. It's a little smart boy. Hmm? You can tell the difference between a goat and a puppy. The little puppy put his nose to the crack in the front door. He whined. He once wanted to go out. That dog must be a mouse, said the little boy's father. We must give him away. But the little boy didn't want to give the puppy away. He's little, said the little boy. He is just a puppy. When he grows up, he will bark. He will stop going ee like a mouse, for he is not a mouse at all. <laughs> He's tiny like a mouse though, right? in a page here. Nope. The little puppy liked to dig. He made holes in the garden. He made holes under the tree. He made holes near the fence. He made holes all over, everywhere, outdoors. Little puppies like to dig. Sometimes dogs like to dig even. I think being in that flower bed, he's going to get in trouble with the mama again. That dog must be a mole, said the little boy's brother. We must give him away. But the little boy didn't want to give the puppy away. He is little, said the little boy. He is just a puppy. When he grows up, he won't dig everywhere. He is not a mole at all. That's true. He's a puppy, not a mole. The little puppy liked to run. He almost never walked. He ran up the stairs. He ran down the stairs. He ran all around the yard in circles. That dog thinks he's a rabbit, said the little boy's sister. We must give him away. But the little boy didn't want to give the puppy away. He is little, said the little boy. He is just a puppy. When he grows up, he will learn to walk. He is not a rabbit at all. Hmm. He is not a rabbit. The puppy grew bigger and bigger. He went everywhere with the little boy. And he stopped eating everything. He ate his meals, that's all. See, said the little boy to his mother, he's no goat. 
Phew, that's a relief. It's getting bigger. The puppy grew bigger and bigger. He learned how to bark and scratch at the door when he wanted to go out. He never said E anymore. See, said the little boy to his father, he's not a mouse. He's really getting big now. Really big. The little puppy grew bigger and bigger. He learned to walk right at the little boy's heels. He walked upstairs. He walked downstairs. He didn't run around the yard in circles. See, said the little boy to his sister, he's no rabbit. The little boy was right. He would grow out of some of those puppy things. The little puppy grew even bigger. He stopped digging holes in the yard. He stopped digging holes by the tree. All he did was bury his bones. See, said the little boy to his brother, He's no mole. Dogs do like to do that, bury their bones. <laughs> now the puppy could fetch a ball. Now the puppy could sit and beg. Now the puppy chased cats. Now that the puppy put his wet, cold nose into the little boy's hand, now the little now the puppy put his wet, cold nose into the little boy's hand and licked him. You see, said the little boy, he isn't a mole or a mouse or a goat or a rabbit. Then what is he? asked his family. Hmm. Well, that's pretty easy. It's an easy question. <laughs> he is a dog said the little boy, and the little boy's family smiled. You are right, they agreed. He is a dog, and a very nice one, too. <laughs> that is super cute. <laughs> well, I hope you liked the story today, our children's story. It's a lot lighter than the one we were reading before. And let's say our bedtime prayer. Holy God, thank you so much for this day, and we ask that you would bless us as we sleep and wake us in the morning light. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you do sleep sweetly, and I'll see you tomorrow.